One way to tweak your Helix presets so that they sit just beautifully in the mix and don't get in the way of other instruments such as the kick drum, bass guitar, maybe the cymbals in the upper end, is to use the low and high cut block. Now, before we jump into the low and high cut block, as you see on the screen, there is also the ability to do low and high cuts on the cab itself. There is a difference between this low and high cut and these low and high cuts in the dedicated block. The low and the high cuts in the dedicated block are going to be quite a bit steeper and more dramatic. So setting uh, these settings of a low cut at 100 hertz, high cut at 12 kilohertz, in this block is going to differ from this. These aren't going to be as extreme. I tend to, if there is space in a preset, you know, sometimes on a stomp we have to be careful, but I will usually use a dedicated low and high cut block or have them integrated into a parametric EQ. So for today's video, we're gonna look at the low and high cut within its own dedicated block. Now, what are these actually doing? Well, we're setting a frequency, either the low cut, where it's going to roll all the frequencies off below that particular set point. So if we think about a mix where we have a kick drum or a bass guitar that are taking up a lot of the low end frequencies, if we have a lot of information on the guitar down there, which isn't really necessarily contributing to our core tone, it's just going to get in the way and muddy the mix up. Same with on the top. Sometimes we have a lot of sizzle up in the upper register, right? Up over 12,000 hertz, let's say, and they're not really contributing to our core tone. They're just adding a lot of harshness and sizzle that may get in the way of other elements in the mix and may just be very annoying to listen to. A a great starting point is to come in and look at, like I'm doing here, a 100 hertz low cut and a 12 kilohertz high cut. I'm going to warn against what a lot of folks will suggest here. Some folks I've seen roll this all the way down to 5 kilohertz, maybe 6 kilohertz. And I'm going to demo this in just a second to let you hear what it sounds like. I would be very careful with that because we do end up losing a very important part of our tone that could help it to kind of cut in a mix if we go too low with that. So what I'm playing here is a single snapshot from my Placator Ultimate preset, which is available at the Line 6 Marketplace. The link is below. And these are the settings I use. Let's turn this block off first and listen to what this tone sounds like without the low and high cut. <laughs> It's not bad, but let's listen to it with. I'm going to switch back and forth now. Off. Listen for a cleaning up of the bottom end. getting out of the way of the kick and bass guitar, and now listen for that high end being made more subtle and not so abrasive. Now here's the danger of going too low. I've heard some people suggest going as low as five kilohertz. To me, that is not going to sit nicely in a mix anymore. It's not going to cut. Even going down to six. I feel we're losing some important information there. Now, that doesn't mean I've never gone down here before, depending on the circumstance and what tone I'm trying to create. But what I find a good starting point usually is, is around 12 kilohertz on the high cut, 100 hertz on the low cut. where we help things sit in the mix, polish it up a bit, but we don't destroy our core tone. I hope that helps you to dial your tones in better, and I hope you enjoy the music on the way out. The links are below for the presets that you heard in this video.